tire pressure meeting. <laughs> Consultation. <laughs> so let's get in the hub. <laughs> I'm used to it, you can look at me all day. <laughs> we are. But no, no. So, so just keep in mind when, you, when you're charging down the road, just make sure you're looking out for whatever comes and just try not to overcook it on the first day or whatever the case might be. Shit's going to happen. Things are going to fucking happen. People are going to probably get flat tyres and uh, the, the, the occasional breakdown or whatever, and we just deal with it. we just got to deal with it, and we'll all pull together and do that. But just do whatever you guys can to make sure that you, you, know, you limit the risk of doing that. So... I've given you all one of these. Um, I've got one for you guys in the car too, but this is just mainly for the total kilometres for the day. So the total kilometres today is 524, and I've got the spacings between each town and what town has fuel, so that you guys can make a choice. Because I'm not, as I said, I'm, I'm not going to be telling anybody you've got to do this or you've got to do that. It's totally up to yourself. If you guys want to get to Windora at two o'clock and go and go to the pub and have a couple of beers. No, I'm all good. Oh, you're you're one. Oh, yeah, that's my name. Oh, no. So if you want to ride at night, then oh, I don't know. Do it. Oh. And as I said, I'm not going to go into the club and say, you can't have another beer. Sure, mate. Um, so we just need to, um, yeah, we just need to be mindful that it's up to you guys to have a good day. Thanks, Dave. I really appreciate it. Well, here we are at the turn off. Now, straight into the wind, thank God, because that was horrendous. And hopefully hit some dirt soon, because that was a tough 100 kilometers on the tar. Basically, oh, just pushing sideways the entire 100 kilometers. Very tough.
many k's is it? The dig tree to here. The dig tree to here is about. Made about 160. 160 we've done. What's that? Might as well, mate. Do you know how many k's it is from the dig tree to here? Um, we've only, we haven't done 300, have we? That's a 300 less 70, makes Ooh. it 230 then. Yeah, I shouldn't know, I think, to where the diggings. Yeah, the dig tree. Oh, I don't know. Uh, okay. Are you hungry? You want to eat? Or no one's going to eat? Keep moving. Keep moving? <laughs> wow, yeah. Windy in South Australia, <laughs> sunny in Queensland, <laughs> and awesome in New South Wales. <laughs>
Oh, is Georgie behind you? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I thought you were last. Getting hot. Bit hot, yeah. How far are we through? Ah, uh, oh, about a third. Good.
Guns. Yeah, Guns Big 650. And we got Bernie's WR. The WRs are killing it, by the way. This Tenere was Spankers. This is Nathan's. Mark, he's gone and had to pick himself up a 690 after his lovely uh, 790 and shit itself. So a quick trip in Adelaide and he bought that. It's a cool bike, actually. And big Georgie's bike, another 650 DR. Uh, this is Craig's uh, 400 DZR. Bloody reliable this has been. Carl's big 890. And then we got Kyle's uh, 790, which has been pretty good for him as well. Well, here we are, literally the last day in the um, the Flinders. And I'm about to head off. And uh, I think Cooperpedia is where we're heading next. It's been um, a terrific time here. It's got to be the best place ever for motorcycle riding or adventure riding, um, which has been great. So, yeah, cool. We'll see you, everyone in Cooperpedia. Well, that's a bit of a wrap. Um, back in Mackay, thank goodness. What a great couple of weeks, though, with a great bunch of blokes. I've got to say, uh, having a big number of guys um, doing a ride like that uh, has definitely its positives. Uh, and I thought there'd be some, some difficult times, too, waiting for everyone to um, you know, catch up and whatnot, uh, and just being safe as a good, good unit. Uh, but it was um, fantastic, so no dramas at all. How did it all go? Oh, look, fantastic. So happy with the bike. Um, didn't really come across too many drama. Had a, had a bit of a drama with my chain, I've got to say. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly what happened. It had to be a misalignment problem. There's still something not quite right there. Uh, all the running gear was replaced before the trip. So a um, little bit of investigation to, to still to happen there. But I ended up replacing a chain oh, about a, a quarter of the way into the trip. Uh, chain was slapping the tyre, as you can see. And it actually did hit the subframe uh, right down there. What I've got it strapped up at the moment. So um, yeah, a little bit of investigation to go on there. That was that was heart wrenching because I thought my trip was almost over once it started slapping slapping in there. But um, no, not too bad. Uh, the Dunlop 606 tire. Well, there you go. It's got 4,322 kilometres on it. And um, you know, I did I didn't uh, fry it or anything like that. But um, certainly wanted to make the distance I guess um, but it's done a great job Krieger bags were sensational um, no problems there other than again a, a slight fitment issue so this little rub out here uh, actually happens from my stand uh, I made a decision not to pack the stand down so it's out here uh, before I left because I, I like the stand sitting up under here I've got some extra rubber put in there and basically that way the stand would support it off the, the overflow but um, every now and then I actually did forget it and the stand set up against here and as you can see it's it's rubbed it out but it didn't go through <coughs> um, done some pretty good water pretty good water crossing too I've got to say there creek and it didn't take any water on so no dramas there um, air hook seat so I do have a seat comfort plus um, cover and then I did a purchase the air hook before I left Wow, what an ass saver. I've got to say, that was worth, for me, um, that was worth every cent uh, that it cost. I couldn't believe what a difference it make. And um, I could vary the vary the load of air that I was putting in it when we we're doing those long stints on the road, just pump it up a bit more and give me a little bit more reprieve. Um, the screen, <clears throat> anyone riding a, a WR or a DZR or even a um, KDM 500, anything small, I recommend the screen. Use it just cuts that wind and a couple of days there especially in outback south australia you know we had some big days of wind and uh it literally helped help just give me some protection yeah just give me some reprieve from it because it was busting um exhaust yeah i wish i had a stock exhaust eh anyone that's going to do it on a on a wr uh, 450 and this thing is loud when she's she's singing on a on a highway at you know, 100 110 k's an hour Besides the wind noise, you're battling with the uh, sound of the exhaust. So even though I had plugs in, it uh, just would have been a little bit more pleasurable, I think, with the um, standard exhaust. And you know, you're not you're not searching for any sort of power or anything like that. Um, 
the Montana. I was a little bit dubious when I bought this thing. It's it's kind of overcomplicated to be to be honest, and I'm a simple guy. But um, once I started getting used to how it it operates and whatnot, it's a bloody good tool. And I was able to communicate back home and uh, throughout the group th through the trip. So yeah, fantastic. No dramas at all with that. Very very happy with that one. Um, all the little dash setup went really well actually. I had had no dramas there. Only then um, a couple of fellas I noticed it straight away with my quad lock on my phone. Um, yeah, just not designed for those corrugations. A eh? lock. Like, I don't care if you had the the full shock one. Uh, if a couple of phones got killed and a couple of brand one was brand new iPhone and uh, just the camera started blurring out. So um, feel for him. I don't think there's a fix for that. I think he's going to have to replace it. But uh, anyway is what it is <laughs> um my light didn't get to use my light i did one morning actually we left um blinman and uh we left nice and early so it was the only chance i had so that's good that's good on uh the guy that planned the trips bar he done a fantastic job planning and made me eat my words my light was almost a waste but i'm glad i had it on there if i didn't have it on there we would have been riding in the dark for sure um one of the bigger things that works extremely well this motos desert uh, a Tractionator Desert HT uh, it's a 9100 so it's one size up it was brand new on the trip as you can see it's got a little bit of wear on the leading edge there but man this thing made me look good on sand I can't believe how good it was I only dropped it to 20 psi and the rear to 20 psi for the entire uh, Simpson Crossing and a lot of the hard dirt roads but um Wow, unbelievable, really, really good. So extremely happy with that. My Safari 15.5, um, which kind of holds about 17.5. I'm pretty sure 15.5's the usable part of it. Uh, and the two 10 liter giant loop, or well, actually 11.4, but I only put, I put 10 in one and 11 in the other. And um, yeah, I got across no problem at all. I think the usage uh, it was about 35. I wasn't. Um, I didn't measure it that well when I got to Birdsville, to be fair. So uh, I'm going to say I didn't use all my fuel. So, but I, I reckon I only had probably two liters left, if that. So, but again, wasn't um, wasn't Toby Price and it across was completely aware that um, it's like Bathurst, right? The last 20 laps is what you're looking for. Um, so made sure I um, looked after the gear uh, all the way across, actually, because it's a long way from home. But um, yeah, fantastic trip, fantastic company, uh, super glad everyone made it. We had one, well, not everyone made it, we did have an incident. Yeah, but much more, um, well, hopefully you would have seen a lot of that in the video before. Not a lot of talking throughout the video, uh, I, was, I was literally hands on, a lot of calluses, a lot of hard work for someone that's driving a keyboard these days but um not bloody fantastic so hopefully um many more to come in the future <clears throat>